When a man loves a woman. When a man loves a woman. What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And this is the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan the, the Paul, Paul and Morgan Show. Show. Today's video, we are on part three, the last video in our series, Boundaries in Christian Dating. If you haven't watched number one, it was on It's Only Hugging. Number two, Kissing Before Marriage. And we're on number three. And if you're new here, we are making Christian advice videos on life, love, and dating. So consider subscribing. Today's video is a culmination of the last two because we're talking about <laughs> sex. Mom and dad, don't watch this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But for help, mom, I love you and I love when you do watch our videos. Don't watch this. <laughs> when a man loves a woman. When a man loves a woman. And they have sex. Have sex. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. when they're married. When they're not married, well, that's what we're talking about today. So should you have sex before marriage? <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> Guys, thank you all for watching. Um, have hope and be free. And peace. <laughs> lot of you people here are gonna watch this video and be like yeah you shouldn't have sex before marriage obviously and then you know what one day you're probably gonna end up having sex before marriage. dang what she is getting passionate right off the bat but this video is to hopefully impact your heart and hopefully you know you don't hear us dumbos talking you hear the holy spirit you feel the holy spirit you know getting inside your brain hey, man. <laughs> dude i love this exactly like christian young people are not thinking to themselves i'm gonna have sex before marriage they're thinking to themselves no way i'm gonna save that for marriage yeah i'm gonna kiss before marriage yeah i'm gonna do some touching before marriage i'm not gonna have sex before marriage and then i would guesstimate that 90 let's just say 85 percent eight and a half out of ten christian young people are gonna end up having sex before they get married we want god's best we want god's heart for this and we believe according to the word of god that god's best for us is not to have sex before marriage here's the thing everyone thinks that they should like have experience and oh it's so good to have experience what if they what if the other person's not good at sex. What if it's super awkward? Well, guess what? You're spending the rest of your life with them. You get years and years to like work it out. Don't misunderstand us. We're not like pointing the finger at you guys. We are really wanting to put this out there so that your hearts can be protected, so that your marriages, your future marriages can be protected. Guys, like we've mentioned in our last two videos, you're not just one day You've been dating somebody for a while and suddenly you end up having sex. It's a gradual thing. It's going to start with prolonged hugging and touching. Then it's going to be kisses, more passionate kisses. It's a natural progression. It's the way that God set it up, but he set it up for marriage. You all need to, man, to set things up that will protect your you and your spouse. And I would challenge you guys as the leaders in the relationship to be the ones who take the initiative to come up with a plan of how you're not going to let yourself go there. And I would challenge you ladies to, if your guy has a plan, to respect that plan. Don't push him. If you are feeling like, oh, he doesn't love me because he won't hug me or he won't kiss me, like, go to the Lord and get your comforting from him and just, like, trust that when time comes, when the right time comes, like marriage, like, he'll show you all his love and you will never doubt again whether Man. he loves you or not it's so worth waiting you guys that person that you end up having sex with before marriage you're gonna they're gonna have a piece of you just think about the bible when it says the two will become one flesh like Man, that's, I haven't really thought much about that, but like becoming one flesh with somebody, you are going to have an everlasting attachment. The world has distorted it in a major, major way, but it's not something where you go and have sex and it's all just pleasure and physical. It's just not. You mm -hmm. guys know this. Mm -hmm. It's not just a physical thing. But don't get me wrong. If you have had sex before marriage and then you marry someone that you didn't have sex with, like our God can heal and restore and he can totally wipe things from your life. We're just saying for those people who haven't had sex yet, don't! God can 
he, he is faithful to wash our sins away if we come to him in repentance. But it's still, you know, it's, it's a sin. And let's take, let's take sin seriously. We're coming to you as brothers and sisters in Christ. You get what we're saying. You get where we're coming from. We're coming to you in love. Like we say all the time in our videos, we want you all to learn how to have hope and be free and how to live in hope and freedom. Like those are two things that are just beautiful when you are living fully free in God's grace. So we're praying that this video shows you how to have hope and be free. Comment below and let us know if you have anything to add to this video. This is a discussion and we want to hear your all's thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up if it meant something to you. Hey, we love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Can't wait to see you again for the next video. Thanks for watching this series. We love you. We'll see you again very soon. Peace out, homes. Kill it. Guys, I just want you all to know, first of all, that my breath smells so garlicky. It's so gross. Like, it's making my stomach hurt how garlicky it is. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but <laughs> since you up. brought it up. Your smells like it, too. Oh, don't even.